Hello, Ronnie. Princess and the Bear here. You know what time it is? I guess our people like drums. You, everybody voted, and 49% uh, of you voted on the Slinky Dog gear, so here I am, nice and slinky and floppy. The wand, to use the wizard, they would not always clear by. Lumos! Burger cheers. Burger cheers. I don't think it's as uniquely seasoned as the possible burgers and- I would agree. But the, the taste is, I think is more, it's a little bit more natural taste than Beyond Burger. Yes, hummus. Hummus, 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 I miss sci-fi drive-in. You miss sci-fi drive-in. I drive -in. really do. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. Am I supposed to unhinge my jaw? Oh, it's so nasty. It's like impossible meat on top of mushroom with the cashew mozzarella. This is some. This is some interesting burger. I gotta say. Mm, oh, that mozzarella is everything. This is a new bar. Just mark that on this day, Sci-Fi Diner set a new bar for vegan burgers because mm, 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 ah. It is very, very good. I would give that four and a half out of five plus. To me, the vegan cashew tastes a little gritty, which is really hard because cashew cheese is not easy to make. But other than that, it's almost perfect. I do like that. I would order that on my own and eat this whole thing. I want some Tiffins in my life. Mmm. Mmm. My taco world has just been rocked. Seriously, some of the best tacos I've ever had, especially on Disney property. Mmm. That is really, really good. Everything comes together. It is a nice appetizer. Like, that makes me hungry for more. I can easily eat a whole plate of these. Five out of five claws. New favorite. Look at that beautiful cross section with this nice cabbage and stuff. So the Beyond Patty is mixed. It's a mixed pa patty that they make in-house. That is super flavorful. That patty is something special. This is something I've always wanted to see Disney do. This doesn't taste like any Beyond Patty that I've ever had. This is a good burger and I'd order this again. Four out of five plus. The Beyond Burger tastes like your typical Beyond Burger, but what makes this sandwich is definitely the jackfruit. I said it before, I'll say it again. I love Beyond Patties. They're okay, but they're average now. So it's always better when some, some place goes above and beyond. This is above and beyond. The jackfruit, the lettuce and tomato and the sauce, perfect. I get that four and a half out of five plus. I'd order this on my own. I had to get seconds of this amazing jackfruit because it's so good. Just a scent. <laughs> So good. It looks amazing. It looks like it should. Mm. Mm. That sauce is very surprising. I think me and the person are gonna try to figure out what the recipe is and mimic it at home. I'd give that four out of five plus.
has like a a hint of peanut. It's pretty good. It's not as it's not as flavorful as Morimoto, but it's very delicious. You like spice? Those peppers are definitely gonna give it to you. Like a middle of the mouth burn, but good. I give that three out of five plus. I like Cinderella's Royal Table table more than be our guest now which is a little weird for me because I thought that be our guest won this challenge but apparently not I'll admit you guys have seen me eat the hummus fries I've heard this reference a ton of times and not once have I loved them but this is rather good the chickpeas are like perfectly soft and cooked this cake is delicious four to five plus To the, this place is great. The waitress recommended the carnitas over the pork belly, but I still got the pork belly. Listen to the story, listen to your waitress. Four out of five plus. Why is it so salty? I think I'll stick with my coffee. $10 for this, I would be kind of upset. Two out of five. So they just dumped the bacon down the middle. You know, sausage, sausage, sausage. A little bit of ham and then I, I don't know what's going on here. Two out of five claws. I continue to be unimpressed with Magic Kingdom food. We'll go on my train. I had to be the fat kid today. Uh, as an island boy, I did not have a lot of faith in this, but this is pretty good. I it four out of five claws. His birthday is the 15th of September, mine is the 29th. So we got this beautiful surprise birthday dessert. 100% vegan, fully edible. These cookies remind me of sci-fi. We got a chia seed um, pudding, tapioca pudding with pineapple on the bottom, pineapple and bananas, edible glitter, edible flowers. I'm in heaven. What is more Californian than avocado toast and mimosas together? It does have a nice lime flavor to it. And the pickled onion really, really helps just bring all of these flavors together. This is a really, really, really good avocado toast. I think I'm gonna put this one in my top three. It's like a home style, sort of like smoke. Like you, like you made this on a grill. But it's good, I like it. And that three and a half out of five claws. I would rank it below the wave, but on the same level as a silly day. I gotta be savage and just Hulk smash this down. Oh, that's really good. I would come here and just get this. This is really good. It's like rich avocado, tomatoes are perfect on top of the bruschetta. There's a nice touch. I give this some four out of five plus. Beautiful plant-based glaze that I'm just going to... Yes. Don't mind me, I'm just... I'm gonna continue eating while I talk about this poutine because you know that's how good it is. I need to stop to breathe. I don't want to stop to breathe. Yes. You need poutine. Old hat to poutine. You need to come try this. Four and a half out of five claws. Let me just point out how massive of a bear bear is being. You know what makes it amazing? The maple. The maple gives this beautiful sweetness. Mmm. So good. These are always a top tier side. Four to five plus. For you purists out there, it's apparently 16 ounces. It's cooked medium rare. If you don't roast me in the comments for it. This is a nice classic prime rib. This 
maintains their title of the best steakhouse in Disney property. You can fight me over that any hot spin any day of the week. I will happily debate you guys on that in the comments. Okay. Chef Tony is the greatest chef in all of the magical lands. I, all the lands. I have no arguments on that piece. Okay. Lastly, we have the grilled vegetable sandwich. At first, first uh, touch, the bread is soggy AF. No, this is terrible. It's like eating a wet sponge. But if I could spit this out, I would. It's horrible. It's basically like half a sip of hot garbage. Zero out of five claws. That is not edible, and I wouldn't feed that to my worst enemy. And I hate my enemies. It's kind of light in flavor. Three out of five claws. Very flavorful for a house made veggie burger. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I like this a lot. There's a lot going on in there. I would highly recommend this, especially with this bun. Makes it amazing. I would give it four out of five claws. This church is as confused as a cis white male at a pride parade. And I absolutely love it. Extremely flavorful. Very, very good. But above all, it's very fun to eat. Give it a four out of five claws. It was affordable. It was delicious. The portions were large. I would come back. This place, uh, I didn't even think about it. I came in kind of skeptical, but it exceeded my expectations. Same. The pasta. This is one of two vegan options available here. It's very bland. It's not seasoned throughout. Even being poor. I could afford more sauce off my pasta. Chef Boyd had to get their ideas from somewhere. You definitely have to do better than pasta that tastes like it came out of a can. Not impressed. One out of five plus. We have a salad. The most basic ass thing you could possibly do for a vegan. This a salad is not. This is dessert in leaf form. It's a bit sweet for a salad, but tastes like it's missing something. Two and a half out of five plus. So I went with the grilled sea bass, skin on. Three out of five blocks, slightly above average. It could be better. Yeah. It's good. It's a good snack. It's a good bar snack. A little bit of kick. This would be top tier. Four out of five blocks. Seriously, the best sangria at Disney. Ooh, no, that is fresh sangria. Mm. Four to five plus. Hopefully it's not too spicy. There's a very fine hint of jalapeno to it. I love that. It's a perfectly blended margarita. It's like, ooh, there's a heat. A back of the throat. Mm. Four to five plus. So, uh, prickly pear margarita. I love the color. Nice and deep. Perfect in the glass. My foam is really interesting. We're good. It's really good. Mm. Four to five plus. And then the fries remind me of Jack in the Box. Mm. Win! The curly fries don't have to pass the fry test because they're not trying to hide what they are. They're curly, seasoned, and delicious. And they don't disappoint. Four or five plus. Solid. I would love to see an alcoholic Nacho Father's root beer float in here. Do you have that? One day I'll try that. It was a really good dish. Very well put together for something so basic like chili cheese tots. This dish is a win and you can just eat it on its own without anything else to be full. Not bad for $9. I was probably expecting something a third of this size. At least I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. There's not much to it, it's just a turkey sandwich, but the way that it's presented and what does it taste, it's a solid four to five applause for me. 
It's always so inexpensive. Yes, we're always surprised at how small the bill is when it comes across the table. The princess has been waiting for this for a long time. It's not brunch. Not brunch. But I'll take it. She still loves dinner here. Hopefully, she still loves it now. Besides the fact that I spilled and made a mess on the table, I feel like I just ate a pizza. Pretty much what it tastes like. Pizza. It's really good. This is a great pre-dinner bread. Four to five minutes. If you love sashimi, get this. I definitely this whole thing four and a half at a five. I can't decide if I should use a spoon or a fork. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. This is really good. I like this a lot. I'm gonna feel about the texture. The texture's a bit weird. It definitely feels like pureed cashews. Three. Three out of five plus. We're here to uh, preview these houses. This is our first sort of pass holder event thingy, so. Yeah. And even though it's still in the middle of the day, I'm, 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 I'm all here I'm for it. I'm pretty sure that neither one of us has been inside of one of these types of houses in like at least 10 years. Pretty close to it. So. The Bride of Frankenstein was pretty freaking cool. I love how they had the plexiglass between the people so that like they could still scare you and not like be up in your face. Yeah, it was an interesting proof of concept. We just finished up the second haunted house. I like the design of this one better as far as yeah. like the story and everything else. You could definitely see the plexiglass a lot more in this one than you could uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. Kurt Russell makes some beautiful wines. Oh, I want that one right there. I wish I could have many of these because it's just so good so crisp it's so perfectly blended it's so smooth it is like the best wine i'm gonna pay 16 dollars for something like this i'd much rather it be whiskey but i can understand why the princess likes that three out of five plus the stingray it's got jalapeno in it so it should be spicy this is dangerous you could drink this and not even realize there's tequila in it it's got the right amount of fire to it, nice and fresh, with a solid mark. A little burn at the end. It's got three and a half out of five plus. There's only two types of people in this world. The ones that start in Mexico, and people like Bear that are wrong. Tequila. Oh wow. Oh, that's really good. That chaser is incredible. It's everything. If you smell what the rock is cooking. So it basically just tastes like you're chasing tequila with a taco. It's liquid. Mmm. You give that a solid four to five plus. This is chorizo. So I'm just gonna take the piece of the meatball. I don't think I need anything else. Oh wow. It's impossible, right? Yes. So it's like curry and impossible. There's a reason why I love Three Bridges. It's just that good. This is quite impressive. Four and a half out of five plus. Oh my god. It looks just like the movie. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the world. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Now this strawberry cider, I believe I had like a few of these at um, Raglan recently. It is so good, it tastes like candy. Mm. Even before I can taste it, I can just smell the strawberry hit me in the face. I'm gonna take a strawberry candy. So it even tastes like a cider, it does taste like a, a little Halloween candies that you used to get that were wrapped in a strawberry wrapper, like melted in beer form. That's this, four and a half out of five plus. Ooh. Oh. Wow. 
This tastes like a carbonated apple cider that has a huge cinnamon stick in it. Ooh, that's cinnamon. It's almost like you took a, a spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth, but you can actually swallow it. Woo! I told myself I would never say this. And when I said that, I meant that. The only thing this is missing is a shot of fireball. Three and a half out of five balls. Cinnamon Challenge Croissants are really good at any time. Two and a half out of five bucks. <laughs> the modified character dining is interesting. I actually like it. I think I prefer it better because I don't have to get up from my table every five minutes to like take a picture of the character. They come by. It's like a social distancing photo, so it's kind of nice. Definitely my number one. This is how I'm ranking it. Number one is the buffalo, two is Cali. As for this Cali, which so far looks like it has the most stuff in it. It's a big hunk of lettuce and more of the fake and guac, some sort of like red pepper looking sauce. Hmm. Three and a half out of five claws. So I'm gonna rank them the Cali, buffalo, the OG, and then the LGBT. Nice, like light lunch. Something that, you, that I could definitely eat when it's too hot outside, like today. And uh, I definitely get that. That's a four out of five calls for me. Really good. I'll definitely come and get this on a day where, you know, I was going for something a little bit heavier. It's three and a half out of five calls. Force is with me. Ooh. The filling is really good. It's like a, a jelly, but not so sweet. And obviously plant-based, so. This cupcake is a win in my book, though. I'm really glad that I'm not eating it all by myself because there's no way I'd be able to. This is like a three, four person cupcake for sure. This doesn't taste plant-based. You don't feel like anything's missing. Everything's there that you get from a normal Disney cupcake. And you're in the princess, this is a win. I'd give it three and a half out of five plus. If there's any other places you think we should do, you know what to do, hit some comments. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. <laughs>